It has the face of a boy, can smile, look sad, even angry. Diego San is part of a series to understand enough about how humans move and interact so that we can imagine building humanoid robots. Robots learning not just how to express human emotions, but develop relationships with people. What may sound like the plot of a sci-fi movie is right now in the works at UCSD with Diego San. The way we teach Diego San to make a good smile is not by telling him, move this one, move, move this one, move this one. What we do is we record a lot of infants smiling, and then we take that data and we feed it to Diego San. The technology works similar to the one already in use in social media websites to recognize your friends' faces. For example, if Diego San detects a smiling face, it can smile back. So you could imagine now a situation where there is another um, pretty smart device that learns to interact with you, can do things in real time. UCSD researchers working with other labs across the country and even scientists in Japan are hoping their humanoid robots can be used in therapy sessions with special needs children, helping develop their social interactions. But there are even bigger plans for Diego San. So imagine a robot learns from watching a human how to do it. The robot becomes an expert, but then the robot can also teach a novice. Similar technology is already being tested elsewhere to use robots to do advanced manufacturing work. But the material that covers the face is actually very pliable. Today, Diego San isn't moving as researchers are still working to develop the technology to bring advanced movement to the rest of its body. Researcher Deborah Forster believes it shouldn't be too long, though, before Diego San can be seen walking down a sidewalk side by side with people. So imagine like a robot companion. Christian De La Rosa, Fox 5 News.